Today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, TI-83 calculator and how we can use it for some problem solving. Um, let's suppose that they've got a scenario here where they're wanting you to find all the values of x that satisfy the following conditions. And they give you um, y sub 1 is equal to 10 times the quantity of 2x minus 1, y sub 2 is equal to 2x plus 1, and then in the third thing here they've just given you a little clue. They've told you that y sub 1 is 14 more than 8 times y sub 2. Alright, now you're going to go through the calculator and you're going to put the first two equations in just as you see them in for y sub 1 and y sub 2. Alright, so you'll come up to your calculator, you'll hit your y equals, and then you will proceed to enter those in. So 10 times the quantity of 2 x minus 1, and then you'll close that set of parentheses. All right, you can arrow down, you can enter your second equation, so 2x plus 1. All right, now we've entered that. Okay, now for the clue, they're telling me that y sub 1 is going to be 14 more than 8 times y sub 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this clue and I'm going to enter it into y3. All right, so I'm going to arrow down. All right, so I'm going to do 14 more than means to add, so plus 8 times whatever I have in y sub 2. All right, now to get to y sub 2, you're going to hit the vars button. All right, and when you do that, then you see y vars right over here, so you're going to have to arrow to the right to get to that, and then you're going to select 1, which is function, and then you see y1, y2, y3, y4, they all come up there. I need y2, which is 2 from the list, so you either arrow down or hit 2. And as soon as you do that, then your y2 there is in your chart. Okay. Now what we've done is we've taken this portion of 14 more than 8 times y2, and we've put it in y3. All right, you can see that in your calculator window right there. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our table of values. So we're going to do second table. All right, and our table of values are going to come up now. Right now it's showing us our x column, or y sub 1, our y sub 2 column. We're not seeing y sub 3. But what we need to do then is arrow over so that we do see. All right, there. Now we can see our y sub 3, and we cannot see y sub um, one at the same time. But what we need to be doing is looking for our y sub one being equal to our y sub three. All right, so this is going to be a little challenging since it, it will only let me put two in there at a time. All right, but let's see. Let's go down just a little bit. Take a look at some of those numbers. All right, let's scroll back over. Okay, so I kind of knew where I was looking here. All right, at x equals eight our y sub 1 is 150. Right there, I'll actually go up and highlight it so it can see it. Now, if I go over to y sub 3, y sub 3 is also 150 at x equals 8. All right, so finding all values of x that satisfy these conditions, x e when x is 8, all of these conditions are met. Okay, so as a final answer there, x equals 8 as our final answer. 